Okay, so what we're gonna do now is go ahead and assemble a few of the sub-assemblies sub that uh, I'm gonna have for painting the land speeder. Basically what they're gonna consist of is uh, the chassis, the body, the crew compartment and engine room, the, uh, the Typhoon missile launchers, the two crew, and uh, the side panels here. So let's go ahead and get started and uh, I'll start off with the Typhoon missile launchers. Okay, so what we're gonna assemble now is the uh, Typhoon missile launchers. So to begin with, what I'll do is uh, we'll just place these two uh, vents at the back of the Typhoon missile launchers into place. Now, uh, with these, they're um, it's quite a, they're actually quite a snug fit into the, where, where they belong there. So we don't actually need to place a, uh, a great amount of glue on them. Just a very small amount along the edges there. And uh, that'll be more than enough to hold that into place. And then all we do is just give it a, a gentle push fit in there. And as you can see, that's now uh, quite firmly in there. It's not holding any weight or anything like that, so we don't have to to go overboard with the amount of glue. And uh, as I was saying earlier, I really like the Tamir uh, polyester glue because of the uh, the applicator brush that it has. It's just uh, really brilliant for for uh, these types of applications. Tamir really know this stuff, let's face it. Next, we want to um, add the Typhoon missile launchers in. Now, unfortunately, when uh, Games Workshop made this kit, they didn't think it through very clearly. And uh, as a result, there's no male or female um, sort of guide to put these two pieces together here. They just sort of float on the surface. So we have to be really uh, careful with the way we go about assembling this to make sure that it, it sits on the face nice and squarely. So what we do here is on this face here, on the smaller of the two, we add some glue. And then just by eye, we've got to uh, make sure these line up. Now, I'll just place that on there. And just uh, very quickly go around and, and make sure that it's it's on there nice and square. What we don't want to do is move it around too much. The reason being is that the way this glue works is it basically melts the two pieces together. And uh, the more movement you have, the the less uh, the the bond is when it's at, when it actually sets. It's not as strong as what it should be. So we'll just um, once they've been put on there, we really don't want to move them around too much at all, and we've just got to do all that by eye, which uh, if anyone from Games Workshop's model planning department's watching, there's something you might want to improve on with the moulds in future. And then lastly, we just want to uh, glue the actual two halves together, and all we'll be doing is just adding a bit of glue, again, around these, uh, these edges here. Again, it doesn't have to be a hell of a lot, and then we'll um, just, Oops. press these together and uh, a bit of trouble there press these together there we go like so that's one and um, again we'll add the glue to this face here the reason being is that as you can see some of this detail in here actually gets concealed by the male part and uh, generally speaking, you apply glue to the male part whenever you're um, gluing two pieces together. It just creates a much uh, neater uh, joint. And uh, we'll go ahead and place those two pieces together there. Gently press them together. And uh, there you have it, the two Typhoon missile launchers. And um, what we'll do is we'll just um, quickly glue these onto their uh, respective doors. So um, thankfully Games Workshop have thought about the way these join up and uh, there's only one way they'll actually press together which is nice. A uh, bit too much glue there. We can just brush some of that away. Just tidy it up a bit. And uh, what we'll do is we'll just press that through there very gently so that it's on the door like that. I'll uh, grab the other door and we'll place that on there. Place that through there and uh, we're away. 
So that's the uh, the two Typhoon missile launchers they're taken care of. So we'll move on to the next sub-assembly now, which I'll uh, go onto the chassis. Okay, what we're going to go on now with is the next sub-assembly, which is the chassis. So for that, what we're going to do is uh, we're just going to attach this uh, instrument cluster to the bottom, as well as the, uh, the, the engines or the motors or whatever they're called there. So uh, again, we're just going to um, apply a small amount of uh, glue here to this surface and uh, gently press that into place. Like so. And then we're going to do the same with the uh, with the motor. Now you can see that there's this uh, this edge here which is where the um, the engines basically sit there on the chassis. So we just want to make sure that when we're applying the glue and um, a test fit's always a really good idea with these things, just to make sure that the that where you're placing the glue is where it should go. So the, um, the actual chassis is the male part on this particular kit, so we want to place the glue along this edge here, like so, and then we want to go and um, gently press this on there, and then just by eye what we want to do is make sure that that is uh, at right angles to the chassis because obviously the, uh, the body sits over the top there and we want to make sure that when it goes on it's not uh, wonky or anything like that. So that's the uh, the body there or the chassis I should say taken care of. So I'll just place that to one side and let that glue dry. The next sub-assembly we're going to get on with is the uh, the body sub-assembly. So uh, again it's always a good idea just to uh, check how things fit together so that, that way you get the, uh, the application of the glue right because uh, one of the things with these kits is uh, because of the way this glue works if you don't get the application of the glue right and you put the, uh, the piece on and have to move it around you get the, uh, the polyester glue in the wrong spot and it's not a good thing so we'll just uh, place that on there like so so that's looking pretty good Next what we'll do, I'll put this, uh, this mount on here, again I'll just do a quick uh, press fit there, yeah, no dramas. So we're not going to need a lot there, just uh, a little bit on each end. This glue, once it sets, it's surprisingly strong, like I mentioned earlier, because it basically melts the two pieces together, uh, the, the, the joints are very, very strong indeed. Just want to put this uh, plate on. So we'll just uh, place a little bit on here, a little bit on there. That goes on there like so. Make sure it's nice and uh, square on the model as well. Like I said earlier, you don't want to go moving these bits around too much, uh, otherwise you'll run into problems. So next along we've got this uh, instrument panel here, which uh, goes on like so. So we just want to place a little bit of a um, little bit of glue across this top edge here. So I'll just place that on there like that. On it goes. I just uh, bumped this panel here, so I just want to, alright, there we go. And uh, lastly, what I want to do is just uh, pop this uh, spoiler, I guess, on. So just a little bit of glue along these sections here. And we'll place that on there. And that's looking pretty good. So um, I'll move on to the uh, the side panels and the actual Marines now, and uh, we'll see how all those look. So next, I'll just uh, assemble the crew compartment and the engine bay. 
Again, I intend on painting the, uh, the interior of this vehicle, so we just want to uh, make sure that when we're putting this together, we're as thorough as possible so that this interior looks nice. Um, I obviously won't be putting the uh, putting the upper halves of the like the torso onto the uh, onto the Marines because I intend on uh, uh, painting those separately to get the best uh, possible effect there. And uh, I'll just uh, place a bit of glue along this edge here, and uh, also along there, which is where I should have put it in the first place. And this will just, uh, with any luck, just press fit onto there quite nicely. Yeah, look at that. So that's the uh, the crew compartment and engine sub-assembly taken care of there. Um, what I'll work on next is just putting the two marines together and uh, then just uh, the two side panels of the body. So let's move on to those. So the two side panels are pretty straightforward stuff. All we're doing is just basically uh, placing these steps into position there. So uh, again, we'll always test fit and uh, just do a, uh, just put a small amount of glue on there. And um, once that's done, we'll just press those into place there. Just hold them for a few seconds, making sure that they're at right angles to the body because we don't want them all droopy and uh, I might just uh, place that under there and uh, I'll do the same on the other side yeah so it's pretty straightforward stuff uh, don't want to apply too much glue because we don't want any dribbles particularly in this uh, fairly visible area of the kit and uh, I'll just place that onto there and again making sure that it's at right angles just uh, by eye you can see that there and uh, that's those parts there done now. So I'll move on to the Marines. Alrighty, so we're just going to assemble the uh, the two uh, crew of the Landspeeder now. And uh, we'll start off with their torso. So uh, again, just a, a very small amount of glue there. And uh, just a nice gentle press fit of uh, these two. It doesn't have to be too amazing. It's looking pretty good. And uh, the other half, the other the other crew, I should say. Put those two together. There we go. Now we're just going to have to let those uh, set for a, a short period of time before we can go um, putting the arms on. But what I'll do is um, we can definitely put the heads on. So just on the uh, the male part of the socket, we'll just uh, do that and we'll gently place that head into position. And uh, we'll do the same with the the other head. Uh, I really like the uh, the way that these two heads actually match, given that one comes from the uh, the Land Raider vehicle sprue and the other one actually comes off this sprue. It's, it's almost like they're the same head that they've used. One's just got this massive uh, targeting system on the helmet there. So uh, when I'm attaching these arms, unfortunately, there's no uh, guide as to where they should be positioned on the body. We just sort of have to imagine it as to where they're going to be positioned in relation to the pilot with the uh, with his two control arms and the gunner on his weapon system there, they more or less, uh, by the looks of things, need to be um, uh, horizontal. So we'll just go with that and uh, hopefully when it comes to actually placing the, the model in the, the cockpit once we finish painting it, um, we'll um, find that we uh, made the right decision. So uh, I'll just uh, slide that into position like that. And there's a lot hinging on that because obviously the weapon system is magnetized and uh, if it's out of rack then it's not going to sit on the uh, the vehicle properly. I might just let these set for a little while and then we'll go in and we'll we'll add the uh, the arms on for this guy and uh, then we'll put the shoulder pads on. So we'll just leave that set for a few minutes. So these are the uh, the two crew finish now. 
Um, like I mentioned to you, I hope the uh, the hands are in the right spot. I guess we'll find out when we um, we go to actually place them in the cockpit once the model's finished being painted, and uh, we'll see how all that looks.